They're known across Asia as wet markets, selling seafood, meat and produce. When authorities in the Chinese city of Wuhan began to notice a new virus at the end of 2019, their attention centered on this location. The scientific consensus is firm that a large outbreak happened here. By early January, the market was sealed off. On January the 11th, the first death from COVID-19 was reported. A 61-year-old man, a customer at the wet market. Cases quickly emerged in other countries. And Wuhan, a city of 11 million, was shut down and sealed off by January the 23rd. There was a breakthrough in the early days of the epidemic. China discovered and released the genome of the virus. The genetic code of COVID-19 is vital to understanding how the pandemic spreads. It also allowed scientists to dismiss rumors that this was a man-made infection. When Chinese scientists first gave us the, the genes of this virus, the sequence, and these were analyzed, you could rule that out. This is not man-made. Okay. Study of the genome allowed COVID-19 to be tracked across borders. At the end of January, one infected group of people dispersed far and wide across eight countries all had a similar genome. All were found to be linked to Iran. South Korea had a sudden escalation in late February. One infected person had been in contact with 1,000 others over 10 days. South Korea's system for tracking the movements of infected people via their personal data has proven highly effective. These things do actually infringe the economic freedom of individuals. But thankfully, our people understand that it is inevitable in battling the pandemic. Researchers in Italy made another discovery in February when they isolated the small village of Vo in the northeastern region of Veneto. They found that more than 40% of people carrying the virus showed no symptoms, that this could be a silent killer. There may not be a vaccine, but 124 groups around the world are vying to be the first to develop a safe antidote. Science has not yet cured COVID-19, but since the first reported death, there's been an enormous leap in the understanding of a pandemic that has changed the world. Francis Collings, TRT World.